It's time, 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 time. She's spilling the tea. This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee oh. on the Breakfast Club. Well, Young Miami has a new show on Revolt. It's called Carisha, Please. And her first guest, of course, was Diddy. And they talked about a lot. Well, let's start off. Well, first they talked about the messiness that happened with Young Miami, Diddy, and his ex. So when you woke up and we were trending, like, what's up? How you feel about that? What it was about? I mean, it, 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 it just, it was messy. You know what I'm saying? It was messy and I just, you know... It was one of those days, you know? And so, had to polish things up, had to press the reset button, mm-hmm. boom, and keep it moving. So I'm not trying to get messy, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to just live my life and have a good time and stay out the way, but do whatever the fuck I want to do. Okay, so you acting bad. Acting all the way bad. You acting bad. <laughs> you acting bad. I'm acting all the way bad. You got to be 52 years old. You got to make sure you're saying the right slang and using the right slang properly around them young girls now. Did he do it? You really? acting bad. Yeah, I'm acting all the way bad. Ain't even sound right. <laughs> Nigga. <laughs> Hell's wrong. <laughs> Better stick to the, the dope and the fresh that you used to. <laughs> right? You know what I'm <laughs> You talk about Diddy. I'm acting all the way bad. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? I'm bad, bad. I'm very bad. You mean bad meaning I'm, good? Oh, bad, bad meaning bad. I'm acting bad. I'm naughty bad. I'm acting all, right. all the way bad. Now, Diddy also talks about his relationship status. What's, what's, your, like, what's your relationship status? You Mr. Act Bad? Mm. Mr. Act I'm Bad? Saying. You know, but I'm dating. I'm just taking my time with life. All right. <sighs> so what we is? We date. We dating. We go have dates. And we friends. Okay. We go to exotic locations. <laughs> we have great times. Mm. We go to strip clubs, church. 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 I'm gonna take you to church. I love that. I'm gonna take you to church because you be acting bad. <laughs> so you need to go to church. You be acting bad. Oh, we gonna go to church. All right, now, Diddy also talks about what he loves about, what he likes about Young Miami, I should say. So, like, what you like about me? Um, like, why you f- with a city girl? I mean, because you're authentic. You're like one of the realest people I ever met, you know what I'm saying? And you're authentically yourself, and you're a great mother, and, you know, a great friend. You just have a good time, you know? We Is that fun? Time. Yeah, you're the funnest. <laughs> <laughs> you're the funnest. Young Miami. Woo! <laughs> But then also then you Carisha, and then so, you know. So who Carisha is? Carisha, I can get I get advice from Carisha. You know what I'm saying? Carisha tell me like, yo, don't don't be in your head and Okay. Now he talks about uh if Diddy is getting married and why he's not married. When I was growing up, my father got killed when I was young, when I was two. Then my mother, she just like never wanted to have men around. You know what I'm saying? It was something like during that time, having like men around your children. And um, so I never really saw a relationship like that. I was just raised around women. And so I never really had those, those, those aspirations. So I, I know it was like the, the dream. It's, it's, it's every woman's and every person's dream. I mean, a lot of people's dream. And it, it just for me, I just wasn't really about that life. Yeah, because people feel like you got to be married. I don't have a desire to be married. Yeah, I'm going to be happy. I get it. So essentially, he's saying he just he just he just didn't grow up with uh that that example of marriage, basically. In his life, correct. Yeah. Now, if you just join us, we're talking. That's Young Miami. She has a new show on Revolt called Carisha Please, and uh, she is interviewing Diddy. Y'all ain't got the part when you say they go together. Well, we got we got a lot more to go. Hold on. Now he talks about uh Kim Porter. Like, what was your grieving process? Like, what what was something you did? At first, I would just like. I cried for like three months straight. I would just be like walking around crying, like, you know what I'm saying? And like just all the time and it just hurt so bad, you know what I'm saying? And I just didn't, I was just like not moving. I had like isolated myself, you know? But as time went on and, you know, I had to deal with the reality and, you know, really, really prayer and God and talking to God is what really, you know, got me through it. And I had, had a, a wonderful life in time with Kim. But um, I'm back up on my feet, you know, and you know, I'm ready to love again. That's beautiful. I mean, you know, the truth to the matter is you got to feel those feels. I, I saw this great quote yesterday by, uh, by Nadra Tawab, and she said, you know, a lot of times 
we try to make sense of things. So we say things like everything happens for a reason, but she says everything doesn't happen for a reason. Some things happen for a reason and some things are senseless and it's hard to comprehend that things can occur for no reason that we'll be able to understand. And she says, you know, you should re- just repeat to yourself, I don't know why this happened and it hurts. Mm-hmm. Now, lastly, they talk about, uh, of course, Young Miami did a song called Rap Freaks, and she mentioned Diddy, and uh, he talks about that. Rap Freaks? And I was like, Diddy, uh, let me put it on your face like the roaches. First of all, I was, I was mad at you because, like, that, that, that was a real traumatic story. When I heard it first, <laughs> I was just like, man, she just went and just didn't know how that really traumatized me. And I remember <laughs> calling you. I was like, you know, like, the roaches thing was a traumatic situation for me. <laughs> And you was just laughing. The Venus Noches, no chase though, I was like, I was like, you must be talking about you. Because <laughs> you, you ain't putting nothing to sleep over here, baby girl. Man, I work 52. a lot, so you know, I'm Knock a hard working woman, so yeah. sometimes I be like a little tired. Do you, you know, go Ben no chase? Like, are you getting put to sleep yeah. ever? Have you ever seen me get put to sleep? <laughs> Different story for a different time. That nigga be snoring, I guarantee, after them sessions. All right? (laughs) And that young girl don't want to hear about your trauma with roaches, okay? She just want to sit on your face. All right. Right, sir? Well, they say, well, lastly, but they talk about if they go together. I feel like you single, but we go together. So how would you feel if I be telling people that I'm single? Because we go together. (laughs) (laughs) I'm not laughing. Yeah. Hold on. It ain't no hold on. We go together now? <laughs> Whatever you say. <laughs> <laughs> man, drop on the clues bomb for Diddy, <laughs> man. Is it is impossible to be 52 years old dating a 28-year-old city girl and not look jokey. He said, we go together We now? go together. You 52 years old <laughs> dating a 28-year-old city girl. Talking about y'all go together. She just, she just making them feel young again. That's all. So what we is. <laughs> we, we, is. we go together. That nigga be sleeping. No <laughs> worries. He be sleeping. He gonna, he, she, she gonna show us one day. Cause he's bad. Cause he's bad. She, she, she gonna show us one day that selfie from <laughs> that selfie from the mattress. Oh, what he sleeping? Yep. <laughs> Snoring his ass off. It's gonna happen. All right. Guaranteed. Uh, again, that is your room report. Now drop on the clues bomb for Young Miami too. Oh, I love the city girl so damn much. Say her drop. The one ecosystem more time. needs JT and Young Miami. You hear me? Play her drop one more time. So what we is? What we is? So what, right. we is. what we is? So what we is? Who we giving that donkey to, man? <laughs> Did he? No. You better stop um, it. Four after the hour, we giving it to a Florida man, man. This is this is kind of wild for a Friday, but not wild because it's Florida. We'll talk about it. All right, we'll get to that next. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. 